Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing and first impressions video of the Super EQ by One Audio Q2 Pro. So these are hybrid noise cancelling wireless earbuds from Super EQ, which is part of the One Audio family of brands. Now the key features here are on the packaging. It tells you that they have touch control, so they're not clicky buttons. They're hybrid active noise cancelling. They have 30 hours of playback time and a transparency mode, which is particularly useful whilst traveling. So what I'm going to do is use my Jerry Rig Everything knife to open the packaging and get into it. It's simple cellophane over the cardboard packaging by the looks of it. So there we go. Now let's shake it a little to get a bit of dip and we can open the packaging and see what we have here. Now these are the buds themselves, obviously. Let's take them out of the packaging and leave them here for now whilst we look at what else is in the box. There is also in the packaging a set of extra ear tips in small and large size. I'm assuming that medium is already installed on the devices and a cable, a charging cable. So let's look at this by opening it up. So it is, in this case, a USB type A to USB type C charging cable. That's good to see. It usually means that when traveling, you might not need to take an extra charger if you can just use the USB type C port on the chart back of the case to charge your earbuds. So if you just have, say, a Chromebook, an Android phone, or even some Apple devices that you use USB Type-C, you can use that to charge the, the Super EQ Q2 Pro wireless earbuds. And on the bottom, we have a few details here saying that these have an input of 370 milliamp hours. So it doesn't take a lot of power to get them working. So what we're going to do now is uh, open up the case, quickly look at the instruction booklet. So it's Q2 Pro Hybrid Active Noise Cancelling Earbuds. And there's some nice illustrations in the, in the documentation. I'll put these aside and let's focus on the earbuds themselves. But to do that, I'll need my phone, which I'm just taking out of my pocket. This is my Google Pixel 5, which I use with earbuds frequently. So what we're going to need to do is turn Bluetooth on, start searching for devices and take the earbuds out of their packaging. But before we do that, we need to take the pogo pin covers off. That's what is used to send signals to the casing to let them know that the earbuds are active. And in this case, turn them on. As you can see, we now have the little indicator saying that the lights are on. So I'm going to take these out of the case and see what we have available on the Google Pixel 5. Now, there's a lot of Bluetooth devices around here, including my sofa, but we can see that the Super EQ Q2 Pro are here. I'll put them in my ear and click on Q2 Pro. So I'm going to pair them. There we go, so they're now connected and I received a verbal prompt in my left ear to say that they're connected. It was English spoken word. It wasn't just a beep. So I'm going to go through my uh, usual cheesy music playlist here on YouTube Music. If you'd like to suggest some other music I test with these earphones, please go ahead and do so. Uh, as well as that, I'm going to make a quick video call to our chief aperture officer, Lukash and get uh, his recording of what things sound like on the other end uh, in terms of video call quality, because nowadays that's a really important feature of earbuds in my view. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll be back in a while with the uh, first impressions after a few hours, maybe a few days using the Super EQ Q2 Pro, and we'll speak to you soon.
Okay then, so as promised in our previous section of the video, here we are. I'm using the Super EQ Q2 Pro. Actually, their full name is Super EQ Q2 Pro Hybrid ANC TWS Earbuds with Transparency Mode to make a quick video call to our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash. Hey, Lukash. Hey, Matt. Uh, I can hear you loud and clear this time, so all good. Good. So these uh, are a follow-up to the previous Super EQ earbuds that we did a video of here on the Tech Trap Sheets. And whilst I've been very happy with these, I would say that the sound quality was a bit too geared on the bass in the original Super EQ Q Pro earbuds. Whereas these ones are of the non-stem variety, as you can see. And I have to say the sound quality or the sound tuning is much more evenly distributed. It's not all on the bass. So it's much more pleasant sound experience in my view. And it handles all my usual ear, uh, earphone test playlists quite well. But I'll be using these as I have been for most of today for work. I'll be using these uh, for more evaluation as the evening goes by and wrap up this video with uh, my first impression. So thanks for taking the call, Lukash. Thanks for recording this. And uh, we'll see you in the edited video, which I'll be doing after I finish work. Cheers, Mata. Great. Thanks. Bye bye. OK, then. So I'm back. And after a day of using the Super EQ Q2 Pro uh, wireless earbuds, I couldn't can say I'm very pleasantly impressed by the overall quality not only of the sound, which is much more well-rounded compared to the Super EQ Q1 Pros that we reviewed earlier this year. The Super EQ Q2 Pros have well-balanced sound between bass and treble. And as you've heard from the recording of a video call I did with our Chief Aperture Officer, Lukash, the sound quality of the microphones is also better. So, all round, great earbuds with even better battery life. So even if you haven't had the Q1 Pros, I can definitely recommend the Super EQ Q2 Pro earbuds. Now, important bit of information, they, these earbuds were sent to us by Super EQ. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, but we did get a free a review sample, which I'm using now. And I'll probably be using these uh, as much as I used my original Super EQ Q1 Pro earbuds, just because the sound quality for listening to podcasts and audiobooks in particular is very, very good. And if the battery life is as good as I've had today in normal use in my day-to-day -day use uh, for video calls connected to my work PC, and then connected to my personal phone for listening to audiobooks and podcasts, these are a really good set of earphones. Uh, I particularly also like the positioning of the USB-C charger. That means you can put your earphones on a flat surface standing up to charge them and see what the charge indicator is at the front of the device. So all round, great pair of earphones. As I said in uh, the video earlier, you can uh, purchase these directly from Super EQ, and we'll put a link in the video too where you can purchase them there. But you can also purchase these on Amazon now, and I'll have an affiliate link on the video description to where you can buy these on Amazon. If you do purchase from there, you'll be supporting the tech travel news. Anyway, time to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. If you have any questions or you'd like to uh, let us know what you think, or more importantly, you'd like to give us some feedback on how we're doing our videos, leave us a comment in the section below. And for now, thank you for watching and goodbye from me.